You've already learned to decline first and second declension adjectives, uh, so de adjectives like kakos, kake, kakon, evil, bad, uh, wicked, and these decline, we call these a first and second declension adjective because the feminine, remember the second principal part is a feminine, declined like a first declension noun, and the masculine and the neuter declined like second declension masculines, like anthropos, and second declension neuters, like uh, doron. So, uh, f third, first declension adjectives are going to be modified from that, in that the feminine is still going to be a first declension noun, or uh, declined like a first declension noun, and the masculine and neuter, though, are going to be like third declension uh, nouns. So let's take a look at uh, one example of this. <clears throat> and there are a number of a adjectives that are going to have uh, first, third patterns to them. Um, only a few adjectives decline like talas, talina, talon, wretched. Uh, so this means wretched. Another adjective very common is melos, black, melos, melina, melon. So if we take a look at this, again, same pattern as we found with uh, first and second declension adjectives. The masculine is, our, is generally given first, uh, and, and then the feminine, and then the neuter. And the stem for the masculine and neuter is found from the neuter singular. That should be a, an acute accent there. So talon is our stem, so talos, and the masculine talos, talanos, talani, Talana, talan, talanes, talanon, talasi, talanas, and then the vocative talanes. So our vocative is our stem. We're used to that. But otherwise, the endings are exactly as you would expect, right? Os, e, a, es, on, sin, as. And the same in the neuter. Talan, talanos, talani, talan. Neuter, the same as the accusative. Or, uh, the, the nominative is the same as the accusative. And then in the plural, talana, talanon, talasi, talana. So our neuter, plural, as we're used to, with that pencil color. Uh, neuter, plural, nominative, ends in alpha, and the uh, accusative is the same as the nominative. Now the feminine, talina, there's a bit of a stem change there. It declines like a first declension noun. So talina, talines. Talaine, talainan, so like uh, thalasa. Talainai, talainon, talainais, talainas. And then the vocative talainai. Uh, so remember with first and, uh, first and third declension adjectives that the masculine and feminine, or the masculine and neuter, are third declensions. Uh, and you can identify this because this doesn't end in on. Right, and the masculine is not an os. That is a pretty pretty clear uh, indication that we're not dealing in second declension endings, but that the feminine is perfectly regular like a first declension adjective. That's all there is to it. Now, with adjectives, remember, adjectives match the noun they're modifying in gender, number, and case. So the masculines, now we could mod mod we could have a wretched man and be anthropos, ho, talas, anthropos. The endings don't match between a second declension and a third declension uh, noun. Uh, and the same with the feminines. That is, the, this feminine talina could modify a first declension noun, wretched justice, hey, talina, dk. Uh, it could mention, it, it could modify a second declension feminine, so hey, Talina hodos, or it can modify a, a third declension uh, noun. So the endings don't match, but the gender, number, and case do. Keep that in mind. Uh, that's probably the most important thing you can remember about all adjectives is they don't match in ending, they match in gender, number, and case.